everyone, it's me Yurgita and welcome to my channel Twist and Half where we talk about knitting. There has been some kind of accident and I recorded a video a month ago and I edited it and forgot to upload. <laughs> and now when I decided to record another video I opened up my phone, my program, and I saw that I have a video that I forgot to upload on YouTube. So not to delete it completely, I will put little inserts from the future, from now, into the past video and will blend and will blend the past and the present into one. I hope you will enjoy it. Happy watching! Good morning everyone! My, my last week wasn't super productive because it was the 17th of May and in Norway that is the Setena Mai, the National Day, the Constitution Day and for all the kids and all Norwegians, simply talking, it's Norway's birthday. It's a day off and people celebrate throughout the day, like literally celebrate. We were attending the parade or toge for kids in the morning and I was attending the evening parade for adults and I was supporting the Ukrainian women. I decided to clean up my knitting bag that is that always stands by the sofa. As you can see now it's empty, it's only my um, needles, needle pouch and some flashlights for knitting that I don't find very useful yet. I will talk what I found there because it couldn't even close. It was like a pile of things and I didn't know what I have uh, inside. So I took all the projects out and uh, started knitting a bit on them, fixing and tidying. By the way, I'm wearing this sweater that I knitted maybe two years ago. So the top is crocheted, you and then I picked up the stitches and made raglan lines. This part is quite complicated because you crochet one part and then you crochet another stripe a bit wider and then you join it together. It was complicated, but I love crocheting a lot and now I spend hours going on Pinterest and through my notes with all the crochet patterns because like I can't knit anymore. In summer I went to crochet. This yarn I bought in a shop that sells yarn on cone. On cones I bought two cones of this because I wanted to crochet a dress. Then I was very inspired by Vanessa Montaro, a Spanish designer. Put a photo how it looks here. Uh, dresses and I wanted to crochet a dress like that. Then I changed my mind and now I have one sweater with sleeves, another I have a sleeveless top, I will show in some videos and still I have a lot. I have this cone and one more. Okay, so let's dive into my <laughs> knitting bag. First of all, I found the socks that I am knitting and making a pattern. So I was knitting socks for my son and making a very, very big heel so people with high instep could, could feel comfortable. So I had one and then I was recording and knitting the second one and I did everything and I started making the decreases for the toes. And I have just to show how I not do decreases, but what rhythm of decreases I use. That's that's what I use for all my socks. So the toe gets like very nice and round and not like trapezoid shape. So I ha I just have to record this tiny bit, like half a minute long, one minute long and wash it, take a photo and it's ready for, for editing and publishing. So that was number one. Then I found my 
beautiful socks. See, from here I stopped making bubbles, so it would be comfortable for your soul. They look amazing. I had a bit of yarn left on each sock, so I knitted to the very end, and now I just have to go and buy one ball. The yarn I use is Celia. It's a Norwegian sock yarn. It's very popular and affordable. Superwash, a bit thicker than traditional sock yarn. That is 420. 20 meters it's very beautiful but i don't know if it's worth all the time you spend making this part some news from the future <laughs> the socks are finished i went to the shop and bought the missing ball washed and blocked very beautiful enjoying really lots of work around here Try it out if you like it. And I was tidying one place where I keep my yarn and I found some leftover yarn from a Norwegian company, uh, PT Design, it is, and the yarn was PT5 Sport, like this. It's 80% wool, 20 nylon. Uh, I used it for my colleague to knit some socks for her and I had some balls, some leftover balls. So I knitted socks for my son. I used needles 2.5 and for size 45 I cast on 66 stitches. Yes, 66. So there's one pair. So the toes are different. And there was also some, some yarn left and some colors left. So I knitted another pair identical. Just to use up the yarn. So I used up all, all of these colors. I think I have like a like five grams of white and five of this mustardy color. And then I found a bit of this. I wanted it to, to dye and I wanted to make it speckled. It's sock yarn and I want to try it out. I don't know. I was knitting something and it was a leftover. And it's a 15 minute thing. So maybe I'll do it today or tomorrow. And then at the very bottom, I found a crochet hook and I was also unraveling my white sweater that uh, I'm knitting at the moment and I will show you later. And there was a ball, a tiny ball of yarn. So somehow it ended up into that. <laughs> I will include a video how I made it.
The only thing I didn't like is this net. I used the same yarn, it's quite thick and it doesn't look aesthetic and elegant. So I will simply cut it off and bring a ball of thin cotton yarn and just crochet the net so it's thin and delicate. I use those as a decoration, as door stoppers or on the desk, on my terrace. When I used to crochet a lot and when I had, I was very much into Irish lace crocheting where they make very complicated, not like that, very complicated um, flower and leaf motifs. And you, I used very, very thin knitting thread not even yarn. So when I needed to make a sample to see where each, each stitch has to go, I used to take thick yarn and practice it and make a big swatch so I could know where I knit. And then I would start knitting using the right, the proper yarn. Then as we are going to Lithuania this Wednesday, so today is Monday, in two days, I needed a tiny project for the flight and for the tour, sitting in the car. And I bought three balls of this color. And that's my favorite alpaca silk yarn that this is my love, love, love. It doesn't itch, it doesn't felt, it doesn't pill, it doesn't do anything. You wear it for ages and nothing happens. It's super thin, my... My preference, my love, 200 meters and 50 gram ball. This was on sale and the color is 4631. Mm, it looks maybe like that. It's with a gray undertone. And I thought I would knit a shawl for myself for winter. You can see it's also like a net or honeycomb. And I thought if I knit a triangular shawl and then where the top is, so for about like 13, 14 centimeters, I would use either ribbing one by one with a twisted knit stitch or a uh, two colored brioche with, for example, light, light gray or off white. So here and then all the body of this shawl would go up here. But as it's like very eerie and with many holes, it wouldn't be heavy. As you can see, it has grown a lot. It's a very, very stretchy fabric. So I think after washing, it will grow in size. I have changed the pattern. And in the previous episode, you saw this little bit knitted in a different pattern. It's also a mesh or honeycomb. But it didn't look that nice and clean and the stitch definition wasn't that beautiful. So I decided to go to this one. It's the same pattern I'm using in the white sweater. And I also remember last video I showed you that I want to crochet a top that I bought from a designer. It's a Ukrainian designer, by the way. I checked her out and I'm very happy that I bought a pattern from Ukrainian designer. In fact, I bought two. One is with, it's called Jasmine Leaves. So it has those 
leaves going here and on the sleeves. So this is ash rose color. On the camera, it's a bit darker. In fact, it's a bit more, more pinkish. Now it's like lilac. So it's here now I want to crochet. And here is my jasmine sweater. I'm about to finish the body. I have to go like three rounds with double crochet stitch. Very nice. The only problem that I have is that when I knit, the fabric doesn't go straight. It just, can you see? It goes a bit diagonal. I hope washing and blocking will help. Can you see how different it is? Can't change anything about that. But hope it will it will be okay. So today, so today I'm planning to finish the bottom. I have to go three rounds, and then to start crocheting the sleeves, so they will be in this pattern. I also have one ball left here. Before crocheting, I wound a ball for the neckline, so I don't have to start again and have so many ends to weave in and knots. Uh, I'm using Turkish yarn Nako, Nako Estiva. It has 50 uh, cotton and 50 bamboo and it has 375 meters and 100 grams. It's quite thin and in the pattern the yarn was thicker, though it was written 500 meters in 100 grams um, but when I look at the picture I can see that the leaves are much bigger and the and this pattern as well is much like the stitches are higher and wider and when I finished the yoke uh, in the pattern I still had to add two leaf sections uh, to get the right the right size for myself because it just finished somewhere somewhere here i don't know how it wears but it's very pleasant to knit and to touch so i hope everything will be okay after showing you in the last video i haven't touched it it's still on, on long needles because i'm doubting whether my raglan lines are okay. I think they should be a bit wider and when I was trying and showing and then when I, I didn't notice it but when I was editing the video I saw that the raglan line doesn't go here it just goes a bit up on the kind of towards the shoulder and it's not the right fit. So Maybe I'll put on top of this, for example, because they are already on the very, very edge. They could be a bit down here. I'm knitting it on needles number two, so it's a very pleasant, but quite slow process. And now let's go to the desk and I will show you my white top and how I'm struggling, what problems I have with it, because I do have problems. Luckily, yesterday, I think I solved it and now I just have to knit and check if my calculations were okay. Let's go. So last time we met I was planning to re-knit it so that the joining of the round would be less visible and I decided to knit four stockinette stitches on the sides and then I would divide them for the sleeves. I did that and this is the piece that I was knitting 
and it's going to be unraveled because look usually when you knit lace pattern it tends to expand more after washing than the simple stockinette and here when i was knitting i saw that it was coming very big folds and then i decided to wash it after washing nothing much changed can you see how much taller the stitches are and the fabric has to make folds so it is the same height i don't know what's wrong with this pattern why it behaves this way usually it's on the opposite it i should usually have to stretch this tuck in it so it would match the lace pattern and i was about to throw it out <laughs> but then i thought okay old ways uh, best ways they are proven and you know what to do and divided the stitches in half put a bit more stitches for the front like nine stitches extra and started knitting so i let it dry i measured where i want my sleeves to start i just counted the holes and then put it down and then how many holes i need to i need to knit for the armhole and how many for the dropping shoulder at the moment i have knitted the back and that's where the sleeves start now i'm making the sleeve section and i have to knit a little bit more to make the neckline and and i also have knitted the front you can see how much shorter it is but it stretches like rubber i wanted to check if my shoulder line goes nicely do i need a more steep one and i guess i do need maybe here i was doing short rows every six stitches but maybe i'll do every five so we will see and here i was testing because i was waiting for the back part to dry i wanted to see if i like the neckline and I think I need a bit deeper one. Here is my white sweater that I finished but haven't worn it yet. As you can see it, I think it turned out really nice. I think it was my fourth time. Yes, it was my fourth time knitting it nearly like full size, at least back and front. Uh, and now I'm very happy with it. I used eye cord on the sleeves and on the bottom and here I picked up the stitches with the needle and then knitted 10, 10 rounds, folded, folded it up and then with a crochet hook kind of sewed it to the neckline. Really really happy waiting for the time when I can wear it at the moment it's a bit too hot you can see the sun is shining right into my face unfortunately 
I can't wear it without a tank because the bra can be clearly seen and I don't like that that effect so I'm wearing a camisole but for the braver girls or for younger ones they don't need that I guess or maybe on a very hot day on the beach that's fine without a camisole what do you think well guys that was all I had to tell you I hope you didn't find this video too messy with bits from the past and bits from the present really sorry for not uploading and forgetting that <laughs> Please write in the comments what you are knitting at the moment and do you knit a lot during the summer. I was planning to knit every day, a lot, but it seems that I'm knitting less than in winter or in spring because most of the time I'm outside, either working in my garden or going somewhere. Not much knitting at all. Okay, see you next time. I hopefully, hopefully see you soon <laughs> and happy knitting. Bye.